the parameters of genetic improvement in cattle. When it comes to cattle breeding, there are three parameters that determine the speed of the process and that are worth considering in our planning. Heritability. One is the heritability of the trait to improve. Existing traits have high, medium, and low heritability. The higher it is, the faster changes can be seen in its offspring. It is a fixed value that we cannot change. Generation interval. The second is the generation interval which is also a fixed value that we cannot change for cattle at best four to five years. Parent quality. The third is the quality of the parents, which will be our most important tool because it is the only thing we can change, choosing the best parents that our budget and experience allow us based on the diversity in which we work and develop. The program. This is what we call selection pressure. One of the basic principles of kinship quality is linear classification and classification by type, which allows us to identify the weaknesses and strengths of the cows, comparing them with the ideal cow of the breed, and you can also select the best bulls to correct those weaknesses. Sire selection can traditionally be done through progeny testing, which involves evaluating progeny traits, including size and production, to fit the range of current populations. Start with the collection of a lot of information on milk control, growth control, size control, etc. For each daughter of the breeding bull, in each process, the best parents are selected, in the best of cases four and a half years pass. On the other hand, the artificial insemination industry has increased the use of genomic tests, which it greatly shortens and simplifies the evaluation process for future breeding bulls since a sample can be collected and analyzed from birth to determine if it will improve or not depending on the breed. Therefore, genomics can be defined as the discipline in charge of completely sequencing the DNA of an individual, in this case a cow, to analyze its entire genome using a genetic map to determine the transmission pattern. To be reliable, the procedures of genomic selection require a large number of DNA samples from the largest number of individuals of a species to enrich the database and thus increase the reliability or reproducibility of the information. It also requires good control, information, and a high responsibility in sampling, so there must be responsible and conscientious professionals who collect and ensure the chain of transfer of samples, then some procedural and statistical techniques are needed to turn data into reliable predictions and ultimately livestock producers have to commit and believe that the predictions will work.